Ever since New York City launched its war on graffiti in the 70s and 80s, street art has earned itself a controversial reputation. The debate on its validity in the art world still runs rampant, with figures such as Banksy provoking uncomfortable questions around the capitalization of art, and the works of Keith Haring, birthed in the subways of New York, which later sold in galleries, now showing up on merchandise sweatshirts. But who's to say that art needs to be confined to a museum gallery? Today I wanted to take a walk down Lake Street and take an up-close look at some of the street art here. And the best part about it, it's free. No need to pay any exhibition fees, making it accessible to pretty much anyone. In 2019, I had the pleasure of visiting LA with a class of mine, and on that visit, we made a point to take a tour of the local street art and graffiti. Our guide was Gallo, also known as Make One, a renowned graffiti artist who has been active since the glory days of graffiti writing. On that tour, Gallo described to us the cultural and social impact of this public form of self-expression, and the tension that emerged between local graffiti writers and street artists. Now, this was before I had taken much of an interest in street art, so it would be a lie to say that I wasn't blind to all the vast array and diversity of street art in my own neighborhood. Growing up in uptown Minneapolis, Lynn Lake was just a 10 minute walk away, which is one of several hubs for creatives all across the Twin Cities. After the murder of George Floyd in May of 2020, this metropolitan area exploded with a multitude of works expressing messages of both protest and solidarity, some of which remain today. There has been a collaboration of organizations trying to preserve these pieces on the more temporary wood boards, furthermore sparking the debate of who owns what art in public spaces. But today I wanted to talk about a local artist known as Black Days. I first came across their work when I was driving by Bidet Makoska off of Lake Street, and the charming skate cat figure on the side of Cal Surf caught my eye, with its vibrant colors and unique, almost psychedelic, stylistic features. We'll stop by in just a moment. A main goal of Black Days' work is spreading good vibes. They're self-described as an artist with a style that's bright, bold, and a bit weird. With murals concentrated in South Minneapolis and Uptown, their signature cat character has stolen the hearts of many. In an interview for a Minnesota Daily article on a 2018 Gamut Gallery show, Days is quoted in saying that they're always inspired by the gift of life and how they want to create something beautiful every day. In working with materials that are more gallery-typical in the traditional sense, they've taken inspiration from ancient Egypt with their pharaoh and afterlife prints, along with other deities across cultures, which we can see in their various goddess depictions. Black Days has additionally participated in various collaborations in recent years, including a beer collab in the summer of 2020 with East Lake Craft Brewery, along with partnering up with other artists like the Bay Area-based Ross Terms and graffiti writer Drew. But while we're still near the intersection of Lynn Lake, let's take a look at some of these murals. We'll start with this double cat piece. Customary of Black Days' work, this piece shares a diverse color palette of vibrant greens, blues, pinks, reds, oranges, the whole rainbow. Their beloved cat character is mirrored here, two sitting symmetrically on each half of the wall. There is some variation between them, however, such as the swapped colors. This piece is entitled as far as I know, but it's so fun. You've got great use of color and line that really makes the cats pop. There's that psychedelic look with the reddened eyes and the golden third eye in the middle there, next to the pink ears, which look a bit like wings, they're quite charming. We have the kind of lioness cat character with the mane and the very luxurious whiskers. Very crisp line work going on here, save for some around the eyes and the nose, but I have a feeling that drip is intentional. Little ears look a little bit wing-like, so it gives that kind of mythological theme that we see in some of Black Days' other work. Then above, the red triangular shapes give the illusion of a crown, which makes sense since these cats have that kind of king of the jungle feel to them. So we've got those contrasting bands up top with the golden eye, with these colorful rays coming down. The bottom half consists of horizontal color bands, and this symbol in the center here is a frequent occurrence in Black Days' work. Then of course, we can't forget the little stars all over. Now we're going to take a walk down Lake Street towards Bidet Makoska to Cal Surf, a local skate and snowboard shop. And quite conveniently, I didn't even know this mural was here, but Days collaborated with another local artist uh, by the name of Bia Frank, I believe. And this is just quite a spectacular piece. It's a one-way street here on Lake Street, so the only chance I would have been uh, would have gotten to have been able to see this is if I'm walking, and this is one of the few times I'm walking around here. So this is quite a fun find. Now I mentioned Skate Cat before, and now we're here to look at it in more depth. Personally, I really love this piece. It's just so fun and light and airy. I'm, I don't skate, and I'm a skier, not a snowboarder, but I just, I mean, who wouldn't want this? on a t-shirt or a set of stickers. 
Once again, we have their cat character with the third eye and one below on the base of the skateboard as well. The contrast wheels are neatly rendered and invokes the feeling of running a skateboard up the wall. Really, the whole piece draws the eye upward. So you got a really nice usage of color here and more of the like fine lines going on. And of course, a little bit more of the drips at the nose and the different eyes, which it's, I love details like that. And so it's just, it's really fun. Really everything just kind of is drawn upward, especially because we're elevated here. Like the sidewalk is down there. It's really just, you're looking up to look at it. I love the use of primary colors with subtle complementary accents. Big fan of the blue fur contrasted by the red whiskers and fine line symbols down here. And it all really stands out against the bright white of the board. More of the little stars too. Also very fun that Skate Cat is just kind of floating in the empty space of the wall, which supports the easygoing psychedelic theme we've seen. Another fantastic work. Black Days' work is just a taste of the diverse and sometimes complicated world of street art. But not only is it a refreshing addition that's fun for everyone to enjoy, it allows us art history folk to look at art with a different perspective. And I think Black Days has accomplished their mission of creating unique and beautiful things, even if they may be a bit weird. But hey, weird is good. If you would like to support Black Days in their work, you can find them on Instagram at Black Days Art and peruse their store envy shop of original work, prints, t-shirts, stickers, and more. Thanks for watching.